the capital boom will continue in the future. From Zomato's DAC DAC, Ho Rila IPO moments to Mensa's sprint to unicorn status within just six months, 2021 was a landmark year for the Indian startup ecosystem. In 2021, Indian startups raised about $35.4 billion funding across 1,926 deals according to Traxon. This is 3x more than the $13 billion funding raised by startups in 2020. While there is enough liquidity in the private markets today, will this funding rush continue for another year? Nithin Komath, CEO, Zeroda, believes that it will. Investors and funds are starting to realize the opportunity set in India, and we can see that from the number of new investments. If global liquidity remains, the momentum will carry on into the new year. But the biggest caveat is how the financial markets perform, said Comma. Sri Krishna Ramamuti of Unitas Ventures said, we could also see increased startup funding thanks to more global capital flow into India instead of China. Anjali Bansal, founder, Avana Capital is confident the Indian startup ecosystem is headed towards maturity. She believes that it is being driven by the talent that is building upon the learnings of the previous decade. In the coming year, Amit Samoni of Prime Venture Partners believes that Indian startups are now poised to make a big dent globally and an example of that is the export of consumer edtech into the developed world. I also see health and wellness startups starting to make an impact on the global scene. B2B opportunities will flourish both within India and also cross-border. Some of the deep technology areas will also see some new innovations Simoni added. Further, Sanjeev Barnwal, founder and CTO of Misho, expects increased focus on technologies, which will simplify the user experience in e-commerce and enable adoption by tier 2 market. Voice and image search will be significant innovation drivers to further personalize shopping experience. Vernacular chatbots can be a game changer. It can reduce operating costs and enhance customer experience, said Barnwal. Anup Jain, managing partner, Oreo's venture partners noted fintech, health tech, and agritech as the three sectors which will create rapid innovations. India will become the source of fintech innovations, having one of the most advanced fintech infra in the world. It will also become a fountainhead of English-speaking creators, who will dispense their skills all around the world, he said. With respect to healthcare, Jain said that India's health ecosystem is going to see a rapid transformation with the implementation of the national health card similar to NHS and Medicare in developed countries. The foundation has been laid with the digital COVID vaccine certificate being 100% digital, linked to a national ID. Indian startups will become targets for acquisitions by global legacy corporates and digital startups from around the world wanting to get into India. Indian agriculture, which remains largely backward and subscale, will see a bigger move towards being more organized, more automated, and connected with its B2B and B2C customers," he added.